Rising temperatures worldwide are wreaking havoc on coral reefs, creating instability in the ecosystem that support marine life and coastal lines. In coastal Vietnam, over 96% of coral reef has been devastated by the combination of warming water and human activities. The reefs are suffering from multiple stresses, including pollution, irresponsible tourism, and overfishing which are compound the effects of climate change. Over the past decade, sea surface temperatures in Vietnam have risen by around 0.1 to 0.3 degrees Celsius per decade, with some areas experiencing increases as high as 0.5 degrees Celsius. Notably, Nha Trang Bay, a marine protected area, has seen significant coral bleaching, prompting urgent conservation efforts. Trước năm 2017, trạng sang hô vẫn còn phong phú và đa dạng, nhiều màu sắc rực rỡ. Nhưng hiện tại, trạng sang hô sau năm 2021 đã bị tàn phá và cũng như là nhiều yếu tố gây ảnh hưởng. Coral reefs thrive in water temperature between 23 and 29 degrees Celsius. When temperature exceeds this range, corals become stressed and expel the algae leaving in their tissues causing the coral to turn completely white. This not only affects the coral, but also the entire marine ecosystem dependent on them. A noticeable decline in fish populations around the coral reefs, the health of the reefs is directly linked to our livelihood. Without the reefs, many fish species that we depend on for food and income are disappearing. When I Despite the grim situation, there is hope. Conservation efforts are being implemented to protect and restore the coral reefs. Nha Trang Bay, which has been particular hard hit, has seen some positive results from these efforts. These conservation efforts highlight the importance of community involvement and sustainable practices Education and awareness campaigns are crucial to ensure that both locals and tourists understand the impact of the actions on coral reefs. Coral reefs are essential for biodiversity and coastal protection. Therefore, saving them is not only crucial for the environment, but for our future too. It is lucky for me to be out on not a very sunny day, but the situation of rising temperature worldwide and Vietnam in particular is still threatening the life of coral reef. So it is now for us to take the action. Chi Hoài Trâm reporting for C Today from coastal Vietnam.